Well, X future. Um, <laughs> so oh, we're starting with X Men and a lot of X Men news, and we're going to end it that way too. Um, <sighs> Rumors say not till Phase Six. What do you think? You know what? I I'm actually Phase Six. We don't know how far away that's going to be because Phase Four is only two years. Ah, uh, see, that's the key. That's the key right there that I want to bring up. What if Phase Five is another two years, or what if? They say Phase 5 is going to be a radical attempt at something you've never seen before. Four movies, four TV shows. One year. That's it. That's and it. we're like, what? And they're like, no, no, that's the phase. That's it. Like, they could do that because they yeah. said there's no more traditional phases. I, I think Phase 6, people are thinking five years after Phase 4. And I'm like, I, I don't think that's it. No, that's I, not can, it. I can actually see um, Phase 5 being the dark and gray. Like, so Phase, yeah. phase 5, right? Uh, or say phase four right now is already kind of looking in the dark and gritty because come on you have you have a actual horror movie in the MCU now with Doctor Strange so then we're going to go and we already have the higher rumors of Blade is going to be five he's going to be yeah. in phase five so and then just like our previous topic potentially of Moon Knight so that's a violent one so here you go we're going to go back down to basics we're going to mm -hmm. deconstruct we have enough time out of our heads of the X-Men that were before. Exactly. So it'll be about six, I'm going to say six years, like we've been stating, we're going to get an X-Men movie within five to six years. Five years, I think, is the sweet spot. And there we go. And that's I, where it's going to be. We know Fantastic Four, I guarantee, is happening first. Yes, I can see um, that. X-Men, I will say maybe five to six, maybe even seven years, because you're going to get Wolverine first. Yeah. I mean... There is a really... I can see that. The, the opportunity to make Wolverine trilogy alone and have him be the first one to show up is too tantalizing because you have Marvel Studios presents Wolverine. Billion dollars. Oh, yeah. That's that's a franchiser right there. You don't want to time up with the X-Men because, again, you don't want to take it away from the X-Men because he's not an X-Men. And you also <laughs> don't want to have a rinse and repeat of what we just exactly. ended. Exactly. So... so I think that's the way you do it. Um, and I would be fine with X-Men coming way later. To me, I don't need them anytime soon. And I'll, I wouldn't mind if they were that transitional thing where after Captain Marvel 2 and Black Panther 2, mm -hmm. they take five years to get those third ones out, like they're going to take with Ant-Man and such, and then they introduce them in that in-between period so they can do some interconnected stuff. Because, yep. again, why rush it out there any of them really it just yeah. doesn't make sense to me like it's uh, we you, you have everything now we have such a full slate currently right now and honestly to me like feeling like we're getting so much new phase four is all new like it's like what are we even doing when it comes to phase four and then eventually like phase five we have to start having some of those other sequels so we have already like this onslaught of different characters mm -hmm. yes we don't have like three or four returning because we don't have captain america iron man i mean um i mean we don't but we let's be real we have a new captain america yes we're gonna have roadie okay. still around like we don't have the core ones i get yes. what you're saying but yeah. i think it's about growth and moving like it i feel like there also has to be a event something yeah. has to happen yeah. to allow mutants to be here because well, he did even say it's going to be completely different than what was done before and i joked about it in a video saying oh they're going to finally make a good x-men movie it was joking but not really because you can't just do mutants have been here the entire time and you can't do multiverse because that takes away from them yeah so again it this is probably the hardest one they have to come up with because yeah. the moment mutants show up you can't just be like there's 10 of them because they got to have that allegory for what they stand for and changes in teenagers. So yeah. there's got to be hundreds of thousands of them. Yeah. And again, they can't just pop up out of nowhere. It's really interesting. And I think that's why they're saying it's going to be a little bit longer. It's like, yeah, because yeah. realistically, they got to set it up for a while. Yeah, because luckily enough, like when we were still having Inhumans um, before they were just literally only on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and 
that's it. Yeah. Like, they're not an MCU. They're nowhere to be seen, but only Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, they had a great way to be able to introduce the Inhumans. The Terrigen Mist went into the water supply, so anytime you had vitamins or food that dealt with fish, you then went through Terrigenesis. Simple. Right. It was easy. But you can't do that because it's a mutation. The only thing I can think of is... Oh, wow, I actually just thought of it. So the snap and the blip. When you sat there and you have yeah. the people coming back, by the time we have X-Men, it's going to be years after these people have been finally back into society. That blip, those particular people have probably the higher chance of their bodies having a mutation because they went from I, non-existence to existence. I think you got to also taught because it has to tie into Eternals now, because they said Eternals is going to deal with past, present, and future. Mm -hmm. The Eternals are the reason, like the Celestials, which you're going to deal with in Eternals, are the reasons you have Inhumans and the Mutants and all that. So, if they do tie it in that way, they'd have to explain in Eternals that there's a dormant gene, and yeah. that gene can only be activated by the full power of the Infinity Stones. I can see that. I, I would buy that. So it's always been there and just hasn't been activated till it happened. Yeah. And I'd be okay with that. It's just, it, it's so far out that, just think of it in this way. In the next five years, mm -hmm. we're going to have Fantastic Four and yes. probably the Negative Zone. We have the Quantum Realm. We're going to have vampires, which with them brings like werewolves and the supernatural. Like, yeah, it's a lot to take on. And I, I can see why mutants would be on, you know what, just... We'll introduce those guys down the road because you're already putting on so much on your plate just with vampires. Yeah, like that's gonna you be. Ha you have to now <laughs> explain how the MCU world had vampires this how, entire time. Right, how Dracula is a real thing that's always been there in the lineage of the blood and the pures and all that. It's it's gonna be interesting and I, I, honestly, take all the time you need with X Men. Yeah. They're still. They tasmed me out. Amazing Spider-Man 2'd me out, where the last movie was so bad that I don't care about them. I'm just like, you know what? Yeah, you can take your time with these. I have, I have other stuff over here that uh, I'm looking forward to, like WandaVision, you know? So, oh my gosh, something go. that's going to be completely different than what we've ever seen, like, yep. again, already. So, yeah, I and they always can potentially have them within different pieces and parts, because, yeah. Oh, yeah. like I said, if... What you and I just both came up with randomly, the blip caused it because of the power of all infinity stones being brought together in one location, activates the gene, um, then you are randomly seeing it pop up. So you could potentially start seeing small Easter eggs of background things, say if they're in a hot, somebody gets hurt oh, and funny. they're in a hospital, you're going to have one of the, the x-rays of something and you're going to see the fact that wings are growing off of someone. Like, right, that's... you're going to start seeing these things, and they're going to honestly first think it could be inhumans, and then realizing, wait, these people aren't no, going No, they're just through... going to, they're not even going to mention inhumans, because they'll be on the TV side of things, okay. with, and that'll happen maybe with Miss Marvel when she happens with Terra Genesis. But to me, it's just, realistically, I think Black Panther 2 gives you a chance with mutations, because okay. the Savage Land has got to be the closest thing to Wakanda and it's a giant jungle and to, to me I think that's your way and you can bring in Storm in there or I don't know you say hey this new bad guy turns out that vibranium wasn't the only thing there was a second meteorite adamantium like you know there's yeah. always way to cheese this around and yeah. I think that's what they're gonna do that's why Kevin Feige implied it's gonna be different because they can't do the same thing. It, they've done the same thing yeah. for 19 years, movie after movie, so no more. <laughs> and even tried to make it, remake it, then said, no, we can't remake it, so we're just gonna go back in time. And <sighs> thank you yep. for finally coming home. Yep. <laughs>